During the Franco era, we were isolated from the rest of the world. So uh, when I started playing uh, improvised music, I didn't know that other people were doing the same thing in other countries. And they were doing much better than me, like Evan Parker, like Derek Bailey, like Peter Kovalt, Schlippenbach, all, all the, the first generation of improvisers. I didn't know about them because we in Spain we lived in a like a bubble, repression, and it was very strong repression, of course. But in the 70s it, it was a little bit mild because everybody knew that Franco was almost he was dying, so everything and the world was changing. So the music was was a, a a way of expressing different feelings and different conceptions of the world. <laughs> I learned many things from Sinakis, um, mainly to think uh, music as sound and not as notes. first experience in Portugal. And, and completely unexpected, you know, because we were supposed just to play one concert and then go back. And, uh, but we stayed one week, so it was wonderful. I, I improvised for a long time. Now, if I count it, 36 years, I started to improvise, but more I improvise, the less I know what it is. It's more like a flow, you know, it's more like something endless. So, it, so it's difficult. To, uh, to tell what is good or what is bad. Because for me it's very important not to play music, but to take care or to enjoy or to just notice what happens with sounds and silences. Then the music will be better because it, it will be in a way, uh, the music got rid of yourself and got rid of everybody's will. It just, it just happens. And then the music um, um, suddenly as a sort of uh, transparency. bastante simpático por parte da, da outra, já tem estado a, a colaborar com, ou hoje tem estado a colaborar comigo e vice-versa, e pá, se tiveram esta ideia de, de me incluir neste, neste quarteto, e estou bastante curioso para ver o que é que, o que, é que vai ser daqui, e, pá, e obviamente é um privilégio estar a tocar com, com estes músicos. Estava indecisa em que, que abordagem ter para, para o quarteto, porque apesar de tudo é um bastante eclético né, nas abordagens de cada um dos, dos músicos. Vai ser um, um bom exercício de improvisação, no sentido de que vou, vou estar a escuta e tentar perceber como será uma improvisação livre, a certeza, e um diálogo, entre, ou uma conversa entre os quatro, quatro elementos. <risos> Thank you. 
with certain songs I worked with friends or like went to friends houses and like kind of recorded in different elements or like with songs that I was like unsure about I'd have like a friend kind of like co-produce it for me but with Legato it was solely me like I wrote produced it and like mastered it so that was quite an interesting process kind of like doing that on my own <laughs> in my room as well and kind of trying to make it also sound like not crap <laughs> so yeah so <laughs> I don't feel like London's like plays like a part of like of like how like that influences my music I am not really like that engulfed in like kind of like what's going on like even I said to someone the other day like my like reference point or like influence or like making my album and like whatever that my legato was like Pavroy <laughs> like, like I, I don't know like I'm always just like I'm thinking about like the West End <laughs> I'm like yeah, I'm usually like thinking about like the West End or like Grammys when I'm like working and stuff so I like never actually like think about like what else is what's going on outside hmm. so. excellent is that, that, it? It? Is that yeah. it? yeah that's it <laughs> yeah. Oh. child always I had always ringing in my head sometimes I misunderstood it was a message from UFO like that so but I found uh, maybe it, it should be music like uh, Stockhausen music like first early moments like it was just ringing but changed to more notes or more like double notes more sound some rhythm or something I want to play that kind of music to people as a debut tune. Comecei ao pop com algo muito mais abstrato, tipo computer music ou música cosmática. Há sempre alguma coisa, uma espécie de atitude ou de som que une as coisas, não tem de ser, não tem de ser unidas pela harmonia ou pela melodia, mas há uma coisa, há um valor para além disso. 
que eu também não sei qual é o nome exatamente, uh, acho que este disco é muito mais, não tem assim uma, tanto uma estrutura narrativa como tinha o anterior e este também de alguma maneira foi mais espontâneo porque já foi, já sabia muito bem o que é que queria, que era trabalhar com mecanismos daquilo que é música funcional, de música para dançar e, e pronto, e tentar arranjar lá uma coisa interessante para mim. digital estar a tentar recriar o analógico, se existe o analógico, não vale a pena o analógico estar a inventar digital porque não consegue, então cada um tem a sua, as suas características, há umas coisas que são melhores num, há outras coisas que são piores no outro e eu acho que as combinações e a ligação do que é melhor do analógico e o que é melhor do digital é que realmente traz frutos interessantes. Música